Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of my Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. It's your boy, C-Star. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Let's get right into it, man. As you can see, I switch fits. Man, you you would think I'm a Slytherin, man. Dark Arts. A, a Dark Arts wizard. Nah, I just think this look fly, to be honest. Look at that top hat. Sheesh. <laughs> anyway, um, today we're going to do, before we start any of the main quests, I'm going to show you guys right here. We're going to do Professor Sharp's assignment, and that is to acquire and use a focus potion, acquire Maxima and Endurus potions, and use them simultaneously. Right, so once we do that, I guess he'll teach us something. Well, in order for us to to get the focus potion and the maxima potion we had to come to j pippin's potions and we actually bought the recipes from him i just did that literally off camera but yeah right now we're gonna go um let me see what are we gonna do right now i'm actually yeah we're gonna go to the potion shop oh hold up yes sir Okay, like I was saying, yeah, right now we're going to go to the potion shop, and then we're going to try to make a focus potion, a Maxima, and a Duris potion. I think I already have the Duris, but yeah, guys, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> There's a lot out here. Oh, whoa. Let me see. When does it say I'm like out of Hogsmeade? There it is. That is honestly insane how this looks at nighttime. I do believe that the potions class is in this building over here. Let's see where we can land, guys. Whoa. Let's try to go over. Perfect. All right, let me actually uh, mark it just so I know exactly where I'm going. All right, guys, we're right around the corner. This game is actually really dark at nighttime. I might have to turn up the brightness just slightly. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. A dash of Let's go ahead and see. Okay, so I have enough to make this. All right, cool. Let's wait for that to finish, and then we'll make the other one, the focus potion. Oh, wow. We actually need a flux weed stem. Wow. Okay, you guys. Actually, when I get the flux weed stem, however, I, I don't even know how I'm going to get that. I might have to go back to Jay Pippins, but I'll hop right ahead, and then, yeah, catch you guys there. All right, guys, he actually has a focus potion that we can just buy right here. Oh, oh why? But let me tell you something. I am a broke you. man. I only have 50 coins. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I didn't even have to buy the the instructions on how to make the potions. I just I could have just bought the potions, but it's actually good that I I have that so that I can just make them whenever. I don't have to be coming back over here and just keep spending money. I just need to get the materials and then I got it. All right, so it says we have to acquire and use a focus potion, acquire Maxima and Endurance potions, and use them simultaneously. Okay, so let's get our focus potion out. Whoa. Okay, and then acquire Maxima. And a Duris. Oh, wait. There it is. Oh, so if I combine them, I... Yo, what is this? Whoa, you guys. Okay, so it's basically teaching me, like... If I mix potions together, I can almost become indestructible. 
Jesus. Alright, awesome. Now let's go ahead and use the focus potion. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Alright, awesome. Look, now attend potions class during the day. I think this is where we're gonna learn a new spell, guys, from Professor Sharp, so. Let's hop on our broom and get over to po potions class. Go ahead and land right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I came in way too hot. Actually, maybe not the best place to land. Whoa. We're going to land in the courtyard again, guys. It's actually really fast from right here. I gotta do is just make this right remember we have to look for a sphinx guys you can't imagine how we can be all right potions class it is come on wait you can advance time by accessing the map and pressing r3 okay All right, guys, here we go. All right, Professor Sharp, what you got for me? How are your assignments coming along? Good, bro. What you had me drinking made me turn crazy. Not literally crazy, but what I drank was crazy, bro. <laughs> What's up with you, Professor Sharp? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. To pulso, let's go. I'm ready. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. There it is. You've got it now. And I think you should. Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Okay. Let's see. Let's get the pulso up. Is this it right here? Yep. Well done. I'm glad to see that you're actually determined to master your spellcasting. The Banishing Charm de Pulso is a force spell that pushes enemies and objects away from the caster. Oh, okay. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Okay, I think that's enough, guys. Awesome. Just add another spell to our inventory. Let's get it. Alrighty, guys. We're going to go ahead and meet with uh, Professor Weasley Don't and do the Room of Requirement mission. How nice to see you, my young friend. Hold up really quick, guys. Let me try this one more time over here. I'm stumped on, that, on those guys. I'm not even going to lie. Completely stumped. Don't know what to tell you with those. I do hope I figure it out before I'm done with uh, my playthrough. Really, really hope I figure that out. Can you explain? 
explain why I have received a letter from a muggle claiming to be the mother of a friend of... Heard you defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. He thinks I'm a kiss ass or something? Bro, what you doing if that happens? You running away? Or you handling business? I swear, I feel like people starting to hate on me. What do you want? Rebellion. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Where is Professor Weasley at? See anything over here? Nope. All right, let's begin this quest. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Um, okay. Professor Weasley? Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. I don't even know how we did that. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. Okay, so this is going to be the room of requirement, huh? What is this place? This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Or the Rebellion. Level, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. The pulse There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. How is that not going to work? Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. Oh, awesome. Can cast a new spell. Go to vanish certain objects such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. All right, sounds good, Weasley. I wonder if they're ever going to get more difficult Splendid. than that. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Rebellion. Oh, sorry. Evanesco. Let's get it. Where is it at? Alrighty. Excellent work. You'll know so I just make them vanish like that? Moonstone. Ooh. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Yeah, I picked up I picked up some moonstone in the forest. Where in the forbidden in forest. Name is that elf. Let's go ahead and read this. Goodness. Hey, I waited for, I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. I'll just take a quick A and T, huh? 
give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. I'm with it. <gasps> Dear, can't you keep it down? Some of us Lumos. are trying to rest. This place is really cool. I'm not even gonna lie. What's the point of it, though? Revelio. There's no field guide pages over here. Kind of feels odd. Ooh, let's hit this chest. Revelio. No, we're gonna we're gonna have to hit Accio. Accio. Hold up, let me pull it out more. There it is. Oh, I see. Okay. Hold up, then. Hold up. Let me drink, drink some tea before I do anything. That's pretty cool. And then I can slide down. Okay, no, no, no. We're going to go up here first, then. Yep, and then there's a chest right up here, guys. Forest rivet gloves. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! Revelio. I wish. Well, I know I can make different sets of uh of my spells. I just hold up. Let me let me see, guys. Let me see. Okay, yeah. So I I can do that. I can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna fix this up really quick, guys, and then I'll get right back to you guys. Alrighty, guys. Wait, how am I gonna do that? How can I do that faster? Okay, cool. Rebellion. I'm do this really quick. This room is interesting, to be honest. Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Because you probably smelled. Don't be mad at the room. Whoa. Lumos. Revelio. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Just keep what moving, guys. Whoa, did they link key? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps up, guys? you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Was it this guy talking to me? Bro, shut it. Revelio. Okay, elegant casual uniform. Uh, let me go ahead and do this right Accio. here. See what's over here, guys. Revelio. Nothing in here. Oh, can't open this chest. Seems a little odd. I feel like there should be something in there for me. Keep moving this way. We hope that house elf can find us in here. Hold up, hold up. There's a little puzzle back here, guys. Before I do anything, let me try to do this. Akio. And 
that has a chest on it. Out the way. Yup. Come on, guys. Just gotta use your noggin here and there. All right. Let's keep it pushing. Now that we have that. Rebellion. All right. This has to be it right here. Come to you. What up, Deke? <sighs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, oh, is that right? Would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Oh, I see. That's why they call it the room of requirement. Whatever re is required of it, it'll become. Brilliant. yourself quite a canvas to work with I look forward to seeing what you do with the space ah and it seems the room has provided you Whoa. with a desk of description excellent it can identify desk of description. unfamiliar items of clothing one should Ooh, always cool. understand I have a couple the of those of anything in which one is clothed uh, you have unlocked the desk of a description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any uh, unidentified gear that you have collected. Let's actually use that right now. Yeah. Brown eye of newt goggles and ornate two-tone gloves. Cool. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Ooh, another spell? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Come on, Weasley. Weasley's really trying to get me ahead. Or caught up, I guess. Very good. 
when conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Oh. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? I Go like ahead that. and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. All right, let's do it. Oh man, where would I assign this though? Here, let's go to the let's go to the other one and use it for Reparo. Incendio. Wrong one. I'm about to burn down my place. Ooh. Yo, which one are we about to use, guys? Gotta be. Where are we gonna put it to? How do I rotate? Can I rotate? No, wait, I don't like that one. No. Yeah, I think that, yeah, gotta go with that one. The blue one cool too, but I like this one. Okay, rotate with R1. L2 disable snapping. What does that mean? Hold L2. Okay, well, let's just get it down for now, guys. Let's put this right here. Well done. You can use these whenever you need Ooh. to brew potions or grow plants. Presumably, what else? What else we have? you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. We already have one of those. Oh, we have some globes. Oh my goodness, guys. We're going to be able to just decorate this whole place? Okay, sounds good. I'm not going to get too in-depth on on my uh, on my playthrough but I might do this off off camera we got whole paintings too all right we'll be here to answer any questions you may have do not underestimate his insights can you tell me a bit more about Deke he's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook Cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Okay. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. Ooh, okay. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Oh yeah, let's do that right now. Come on. Yeah, like, why not? Let's get it. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. 
Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How do I know how much is enough? Do I have rugs? I have a lot of things. How do I get rid of it, though? That's that's my thing. I'm pretty sure I have enough. Come on. Let oh, I need 50. Okay, I see. Can we do this right here. Okay, I see. I see. I see, guys. Yeah, let's get these out the way. Come on. I don't need that. I want to add my own touches. Even these right here, I'm, I'm going to end up moving, to be honest. Uh, do I have enough? Yep. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? We could even change the walls and floor? No way. Where would that be under, though? Table, seating, a room, artwork, statues. Wait, I don't see it. Conjure floor decorations. Oh, okay, I see. I see, I see. Let's get a chair going. I'm gonna get two chairs going. One right here. One right here. Nah, nah, nah. And then we're gonna go to paintings. Shall we move on? Alrighty. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm do my own thing, but just to get these tasks done, I'm gonna just place place them down very quick, guys. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture. Oh, this gets really deep. Let's get started, shall we? This gets super Watch deep. Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Awesome. Let's go. Like I said, I don't know if these are going to get any harder, but... Just I'm cool with aim it. your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Okay, hold on. Let me... The alter spell. We're going to have to have our own uh, a thing specifically for the room of requirement. Cool. Change the color of an item. Adjust the size. No. Okay, but that's not even what they, they're trying to have me do. I'm 
I'm so confused. Hold up, guys. All right, cool. Let's change the color of it really quick. Let's go red. And then adjust the size. Okay. How would I adjust the size, though? Let me try with one of the paintings. There it is. Just change size. Let's put it somewhere else, though. Over here. Nicely done. All righty. That was a little confusing, but we got it. A little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try yeah, I know. I saw that. On the floor or balcony. I did see that. To be honest, I like this Your one. Space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. I can Professor change Weasley almost everything Deke in here. Whoa. Magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Yeah, let's do it, Deke. What's up? Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Outdoorsy. Wait. I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious. I like something natural and earthy. A cool moonlit ambiance sounds perfect. I like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Hmm, sounds perfect. What you doing, Deke? Yo, these rugs are placed like in horrible positions. Mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now Got you it. have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. Literally full of possibilities. No so much you can much do. Time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Sounds good. Yo, the the room of requirement is dope. Super dope. That's absolutely bonkers. Imagine if your house was able to just shift like that and for whatever you needed it to do. Space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. Awesome. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Yo, Professor Weasley just hooked it up. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like I'm gonna spend a good time in this room of requirement. Just customizing and making it my own. But uh, yeah, guys, I think that's gonna be it for today. So if you guys like the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you guys wanna share the video, go ahead and share it. It'll be very much appreciated. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you guys don't miss any of my videos. Man, thank you guys again for whoever clicked on my video. Again, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Stay positive. Stay healthy. I'll catch you guys on the next one. It's your boy C-Star, and I'm out. Peace.